Uh -huh. We start off with this one. Tupper Ella be called out for publicly criticizing song of fellow gospel artists. Hmm. Nigerian gospel artist Tupper Ella be has come under serious criticism for criticizing Yinka Alayesori over, Al over a hit single, Oniduro Me. Un, meaning my guarantor. It all began when Tokwe Alabi was captured on video at a church event during which she tried to dismiss Yinka Alashe Yari's description of Jesus as a guarantor, saying that the notion of the Savior as a guarantor goes against the Holy Spirit and the biblical definition of the Lord. Take a look at the video that has caused a lot of commotion on social media. See how big God is. See how much God has done. That's what someone says, my guarantor, I thank you. God is not my guarantor. He is more than a guarantor. I also like this song. And the day I was going to sing it, the Holy Spirit said to me, keep your mouth shut. It's not to say that the song isn't good. But when we receive a song in the Spirit, there's a pondering one does with the Holy Spirit before he sings. If one just sings as the Spirit leads, one would just be singing gibberish. He has given us the brain to digest true. True it very well, digest, eat it, baby, then digest it, then bring it back to life. <laughs> Reacting to all of this, another gospel singer, Shola Allison, who also sang the same song in another rhythm, took to her Instagram page to write, stating that God has revealed himself to people in different ways, and that concluding about God based on the way a person is guaranteed to see him is dangerous and unfair to humanity. Hmm. Um, back and forth, social media coming for Tokwa Labi, some take, taking sides with Yinka Alashi Yori. Um, it's just been a back and forth. Right I just now. feel like a lot of people decided to take sides with Yinka Alashiori because it's, it's pretty much not the first time Tokwe Alabi is doing this. Mm. Um, she, yeah, she did it with Shala Linsin's, um There was this song. Um, um, there's the, I can't remember the thing. But, um, Publicly like this? Yeah, mm -hmm. at, a, at an event. And she talked about how the song had a different meaning to her. See, I always say this thing to people. Your relationship with God is personal. Mm -hmm. So God to me can be my guarantor. Mm -hmm. God to you can be my savior. God to you can... Do you understand? So when I saw this video at first, I was like, I didn't even know anything was happening on social media. Like someone was just playing it in the background while I was cooking. And my friend was playing and I was like, see, why is it that this woman always has an opinion about other people's songs? Yeah. The other day she was on stage and she said something really off that uh, she said it was the Holy Spirit that gave her ginger. I mean, I'm <laughs> like, auntie, mm -hmm. if you want to be forming this spiritual, spiritual thing, the reason why people are coming for you is because as a spiritual person, if you have the understanding of the spirit, you should know that my, my experience with God is different from your experience with God. And the song is a good song. Mm. I've, I've seen Shola Alison perform it as well. Mm -hmm. it's, it means my guarantor, it means that this is, this is someone that would always be there for me. Like, if, if it were to be you, if it were to be human, people would always complain, but you have always remained there for me. That's what the song means. So, what, so the way I see it, the doing. way I see it here, yeah, I feel like, She's as you always said, doing this um, thing. your relationship with God is personal. I didn't mm -hmm. know that she has done it with Shola Allison before. Yes. I felt like, why is she coming out on stage to actually speak about another person's song and not even in a good light? Mm -hmm. uh, in the same Bible and the same God says, don't judge anybody. If this is the way God sees them, she sees God, even if it's not accurate, mm -hmm. keep it to yourself. You understand? Let the person have that personal relationship to figure out that this is actually not the right thing to do. Because when you're a Christian, you grow in Christ and yeah, you, you learn. Yeah, the deeper you grow. You get, yeah. you get the... deeper, you get more knowledge about this. Because now on one end of it, there's something that is called, I don't know the proper terms, but they're like biblical accuracies that mm -hmm. you have to apply to gospel music. Now, there are a lot of gospel music that is gotten from alternative music mm -hmm. or regular Secular music, music yeah. then they now switch it up. It switch doesn't necessarily it. portray the gospel, which is about oh, Jesus. Said, oh,